we are going to test the drone jammer gun. The first test is for 100 meters. Okay, now we can test the, the, uh, the near effect of the jamming effect. Okay, start the drum again. Kaiji, Kaiji, Kai, Kai. Okay, you will see the effect. There is no image, no, no signal, no signal, no control signal. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, then we're going to. Then we're going to further distance, around 100 meters. Okay, it's around 100 meters. Uh, we will start the drawing jammer again. Okay. Can't see it. Start. Okay, you will see the effect. There is no image. No signal. No signal. No imaging. No control signal. Okay, stop. Stop. Go home. Going home. Now we are going to the second time around our drone from our gun. This is the second time. Now we are going to fly in further distance around. Six seven hundred meters. Now we are going to further distance around one kilometers. Okay, it's around, it's near, very near to the 100 kilometers. Now, we are starting to test the drone jumper gun. And we will ask our fighter to to trigger the jumper, jumper gun. Fire! Signal. Okay, now you will see we lost the signal and uh, we lost all the signals and the control signal. There's no control signal. See? Okay, we will ask our drone return home. Stop, stop, stop. Go home. Okay, we will stop at um, stop going home. Stop at around six hundred meters. Now we are test again. Okay, fire. See, you will lost all the signals. No. No signal. Image signal. No control signal. Okay, stop. Go 
go home. Normally, we use our drone camera gun to block the signals around 2.4 gigahertz and also the 5.8 gigahertz and also the GPS signal. But this time, uh, we test in a security area. We are not going to test our the GPS jamming signal because when the drone lost the jamming signal, the GPS signal, they will fly anywhere. We can't control that. So now uh, we are going to find another place to test the GPS jamming, jamming effect. Thank you. Landing. Low battery warning. Okay, stop.